This is Sarah Aubrey's first winter without gas heating and cooking. The air quality in the house has just changed completely. It's so, so much nicer. As well as pulling out her gas meter, the homeowner put insulation under her floors and got rooftop solar. This cost more than $15,000, but her power bills are down. Everyone should be able to live in a house that has cheap power. The Grattan Institute wants all homes off natural gas by 2050. This is a really big task. We're talking about 5 million households. Its new report includes calls for a ban on new connections, the phasing out of gas appliances, a deadline for rentals to go all electric and funding to help public housing do the same. The ACT has moved first, banning gas in new builds. These are matters for individual states and territories to make. Uh, we won't be insisting on a Commonwealth-wide policy there. As households switch off their gas, there'll be less demand for workers like these trainee fitters. The Grattan Institute wants them to be reskilled so they can help electrify households. Their boss says it's not that simple. This report makes some suggestions about a way forward, but it still leaves many unanswered questions. Shane hopes that burners stay fired up with other types of flammable fuel like hydrogen, while the energy market regulator says that even if households go totally electric, we'll still need gas for the grid. When we have 82% renewables, we'll still have 18% fossil fuels. Increasingly, that'll be gas as coal fire power leaves the system. Sarah would like to install a battery to decrease her reliance on the grid even further. Amelia Turzon, ABC News.